if you've been seeking the Lord more and more and you feel like you're you're making steps maybe you're, you're even making leaps and bounds in understanding him more and getting closer to him I want to encourage you to not give up when God throws a wrench in what you were expecting from him and I'm using myself as an example right now I've been really seeking him um, strongly lately to try to just really see what is what's on God's heart what is truth what does he want from me um, and, and, and part of that he's caused me to self reflect um, and the wrench he's thrown he had thrown in my path or uh, in my way um, I prayed that God would make my sight clearer so that I could see him clearly and hear him clearly, just like Jesus said he did only what he saw the Father doing. I want to have that same kind of sight that Jesus had. Um, in praying for that, God puts a, if you want to call it a test, a stumbling block. I, I think it was a teaching method, um, but what he put in, in front of me was removing past sins, acknowledging what I've done in the past, acknowledging what was done to me, and learning to truly forgive myself and others, not holding a grudge against myself or anyone that's wronged me, and it's very difficult for some people, um, and it's, it's oftentimes it's even difficult for us to, to admit um, that we're weak ways that the devil has been able to tempt me personally growing up have even been embarrassing, have been, um, have, have grieved my spirit. I'm like, why am I open to this? This, this is not who I am. And that's the very thing that God wanted to show me. And I believe that I, he's wanting me to show it to others is that you are not your temptations. You are not your sins. You are not simply what you do um, there is a difference between a temptation and a sin a temptation is something that comes from the devil it may be something so random thought pops into your head and you're like where did this come from this, this isn't something I would normally think I don't understand where this came from that's a temptation the sin is when you allow a thought or a temptation to stay and ruminate in your mind and then you act on that. And Jesus made it very clear that you can act even in your mind before you've done something physically. But I want you to understand that God does not hold you accountable for what Satan tempts you with. God holds you accountable for what you do with that. And what you choose to relate to makes all the difference. If the devil's trying to say, you know, you're an alcoholic, you, you need to go drink and do this, or you need to go look at pornography, or lust after somebody, or cuss, or gossip, or any, any sin. When you identify with that, and you feel guilty for even having that thought, you've You've agreed with the lie. You've agreed with the lie that Satan has put before you. But when you say, this is not me. I am a child of light. I am a new creation in Christ. Get behind me, Satan, and resist the devil and deny that lie. I promise you, you will find that not only is it easier to resist the devil, but you will have more joy in your life, less grief, less feeling of condemnation it says that the devil is the accuser god doesn't accuse us the devil does and we have to realize that jesus is who we need to be associated with and jesus alone